Okay, in this video, we're going to try to solve the following inequality. The square root of x plus 4 is less than 3. Okay, so we want to find the values of x that would make this inequality true. So we can, there are basically two ways, at least, for doing it, for beginners. But before we start, we need to make one clear idea. It's very important. So to find the values where this square is defined. So to have the square defined, we need to have this condition. x plus 4 should be greater or equal than 0. This would give us that x has to be bigger than minus 4. Okay? So x has to be bigger than minus 4. So that means this is minus 4, all the values that are bigger than minus 4 are in this interval, minus 4 plus infinity. So x has to be here before we start. Now to solve, we square both sides because here we have, we are safe to say where we can square. So, so we square both sides, okay, keeping this symbol and changeable because the function that we apply in x squared doesn't influence the 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 change of the, the the less than sign. So here square in both sides we get x plus four is less than nine. We take minus four or we add minus four to both sides and we get x is less than 9 minus 4, which is 5. That means x is less than 5. Okay. So, here we have this condition here. That to have this one, this, 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 this one true, we need to have all the values that are bigger than 5. And what are these values? Those values belong to 5 plus infinity. But we already know that the axis, the values that are the axis, we know that they are in here. So x has to be in this interval, minus 4 plus infinity. And x has to be in this interval, 5 infinity. We intersect them and we get the interval is 5 plus infinity. So the solution for this, this, this inequality is that this is our interval for the solution. So x has to be in this interval to keep this one true. So now we, we, we are not solving for a particular value of x. We are solving for an interval. And that interval is this one. Okay? Thank you very much.